At 6 o'clock, researchers from the University of Arizona are looking into the effects of working in the oil and gas industry. A team of researchers is in Lafayette conducting interviews with people who worked in the industry from the 1970s to the early 2000s. Our Micah Hatfield sat down with one of those workers. It's tonight's top story. It's a spotlight on workers in the oil industry right here in Lafayette. After meeting with the two uh, two ladies, that uh, it, it was really interesting that they, they thought my job was interesting, you know. Steve Abair, who worked for Tinoco and then Chevron from 1974 until he retired in 2007, heard about the research and wanted to share his experiences. The industry, oil industry, knows a lot about how it, how they find it, how they get it out of ground, and how they get it to the uh, to the beach but they, uh, they really don't know much about the uh, actual workers uh, offshore, like what we do offshore or what kind of family life we, uh, we have when we, when we get back, uh, back home. The research is focusing on how the industry not only affects the community, but how families are affected by having a member working out of town for weeks at a time. So far, the researchers have interviewed 13 workers. We ask them about changes they've seen through their time in, in the industry. Um, and we also asked them about the, the industry's connection to Lafayette and their connection to Lafayette and um, how, how that's played out in their careers. The team will be conducting interviews for a month and hope to have their research completed by the end of the year and plan to put it into archives at LSU, UL, and the University of Houston. I'm just amazed at how much these people care about what they do and how passionate they are and how much it's really affected their lives. and a part of who they are. In Lafayette, Micah Hatfield, KETC, TV3. And that team is in Lafayette until August 7th. If you'd like to participate in this research, we posted details on KETC.com.